So after the first time I got bit, I was like, okay, is it too soon to stop doing this? I want to stop breastfeeding. Those teeth are sharp. Okay. Hey everybody, welcome back to the couch. I'm Melissa and this is Couch Mom Club. On my channel, you'll find tips and tricks to help moms get off the couch and into life. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about breastfeeding your baby six months and beyond. And if you should stop or if you should continue. Let's get right into the video. So as many of you know, breastfeeding is probably the most recommended method for feeding your newborn. Your baby needs that breast milk, whether you pump it or you feed directly, most doctors will say it is the most nutritious, the most beneficial source for your baby. And I totally understand. Most people really try to breastfeed. They will push through the pain, push through the hurt because they recognize how important it is. That newborn baby, right in the beginning stages when you're breastfeeding, although there are some challenges, you're gonna want to do it. But when your baby becomes six months or older, you might begin to think, do I wanna continue doing this? When should I stop? Is it harmful to stop? Will my baby be in danger? These are all valid questions because I understand how difficult it could be. If you're not new here, then you're gonna know my position on breastfeeding and you'll know that I really don't like doing it. I'll leave the video where I explain that right here and you can take a look at it. But I didn't enjoy breastfeeding. Of course, I have three babies that I breastfed. One, I breastfed my firstborn. He breastfed until about 11 months where he self-weaned because I was pregnant. And then my second born, I breastfed her until about 10 or 11 months and I weaned her um, because I needed a break before new baby came along because I was pregnant. <laughs> and now this current baby, my little Adelaide, she is currently breastfeeding, she's nine months old. And I plan to breastfeed her at least until a year. I don't have pregnancies in the way right now and I, listen, I, I don't, I'm not getting pregnant. Okay, I'm not looking at you people. I'm looking at my husband who's right over here, I'm not getting pregnant. I don't want another baby right now. <laughs> so I am gonna make sure that a pregnancy doesn't interrupt this breastfeeding journey. And even though I don't enjoy breastfeeding, I understand the benefits of breastfeeding your baby and the benefits of the milk. Even beyond six months, there are so many benefits to breastfeeding your children six months and beyond. Now I know that there's a lot of people that will receive, you know, all the negative comments and thoughts for those who choose to breastfeed beyond a year. But I'm just gonna provide for you a few tips that will help make the journey a little easier. Breastfeeding the baby from the beginning stages until however long you choose to do it comes with its it's difficulty. Let's face it, it is not the most easy thing to do. Some women find it easy, some women find it hard. Some women find it easy with one child and completely difficult with another child. There's so many different things that can come up to making breastfeeding really, really hard. And these seven tips are going to help you, especially if you're choosing to breastfeed your baby from six months and beyond. The first tip right off the bat is to ensure that you are eating healthy and you are hydrating. I cannot stress this enough. There was a time when I was breastfeeding all my children actually, where I gave so much to them, preparing meals, ensuring that they were eating, that I neglected myself and I forgot to eat many times and I wasn't drinking as much water. Even with my last baby, Adelaide, I consider taking supplements because I noticed that my breast milk wasn't really coming in. I feel like that was because I was not drinking enough water. Staying healthy and eating your meals and drinking water is going to alter your breast milk. If you're not eating well and if you're not staying hydrated, you're gonna find that your supply is gonna dwindle. As your baby gets older from six months and beyond, they're gonna wanna nurse more and they're gonna wanna take in more because they're doing more. So you wanna make sure that you are nourished. Eat all your meals, eat your snacks in between and definitely drink your water and stay hydrated. Tip number two is just simply to be aware that your child might be teething at this point. When they're six months and beyond, your kid is going to be changing so much. And teeth are one of those things that like to pop up around this stage of life. So they are six months and they're starting to, you know, cut a little bit of teeth. Some babies even do this before six months. So you know, just kind of be mindful. But I find that if you're not prepared 
for these teeth, these very sharp, very new teeth, it might deter you from breastfeeding altogether. After you get that first bite, you're gonna wanna throw in the towel. But if you are prepared with whatever ointments you're gonna use or you know, with different methods to get the child to, to not bite, you wanna make sure that you have those things ready at the goal if your baby chooses to clamp down. When they clamp down with their gums, it's painful. When they clamp down with their teeth, <laughs> it's even worse. A really quick and easy method for the baby to just um, let go of their latch and stop biting is to just use your nail and poke them somewhere in their skin. I like to do the forehead because not only does it get her eyes uh, like looking at me, it also just alerts her and it's and it's you know just a little bit of a, a sting, so it gets the latch off right away. And if you've ever been bit by your baby, you know that you want to make sure that that baby lets go of that grip immediately. Tip number three is to make sure that you're comfortable. Comfort is one of those things we kind of take for granted and we kind of overlook when we're nursing babies or doing anything with children, they are your number one priority. But when you're nursing a baby from six months and beyond, your comfort is going to be crucial. And I mean this in, in two different ways. Be comfortable nursing your baby, especially if you're out in public. It doesn't matter if your baby's six months, nine months, a year, be comfortable. If you're not already comfortable doing this, it's going to be difficult for you to bring a, a older child, a six month to a year out in public and wanna nourish them. You're gonna feel that stigma. You're gonna feel those eyes on you, but get comfortable breastfeeding because if that is your chosen method to nourish and feed your baby, you're just gonna have to be comfortable. The second part to that is to make sure that you find a comfortable position or place in your home to nurse. Maybe the way that you breastfed during the early stages from newborn to about five months will not be the same positions that you're gonna use when your baby's six months or older. You wanna switch it up. We talked about different positions to breastfeed on this channel, and you can watch that video here if you are looking for ideas of how you can breastfeed and what positions, but maybe some of those positions are more useful for the newborn and not necessarily for an older child. So get comfortable with your breastfeeding. So before I go into the next tips, I wanna let you know that there are so many different benefits to breastfeeding your baby from six months and beyond. Of course, that very, very new milk with the colostrum and all of that, the very fatty part of your breast milk, all of that is going to be so good and so beneficial for your newborn baby. But there are so many things that help your baby in the, in the future. So when you're breastfeeding from six months and beyond, there's a couple things to be mindful of. Number one, you can really prevent a lot of different diseases and ailments in your baby, not only when they're small, but also into adulthood. When they're small, breastfeeding from six months and beyond could actually prevent childhood leukemia. It could also prevent them becoming overweight or being obese when they're older. And there's so many other benefits like helping to lower the risk of ear infections and throat infections and overall sinus issues. And it can really, really help benefit and boost their immune system. And this will bring me to point number four. You want to make sure that when you are breastfeeding a baby that is six months or older, you want to tune out all the negativity. What you're doing is a great work for your child to nourish them and give them a head start to eliminate risks of certain diseases and lower the risk of others. You want to tune out all the rest of the negativity. Some people will say maybe that baby is too old to be breastfed. Maybe that baby should be taking a bottle by now. Some people will give you dirty looks. Listen, none of that is your business. All that you have to concern yourself with is the fact that you are doing a great work for your baby by continuing to nourish them. If your milk is coming in and you're able to nurse your baby, especially now that we're experiencing a shortage of formula, both in the United States and in Canada, you want to produce that milk. If, you, if you're producing, go ahead and produce that milk and feed your baby. There is nothing better than to ensure that your family is healthy, your family is safe, and your family is well nourished. Don't worry about what the naysayers have to say, and they're gonna say it. They're gonna talk, whether they say it directly to you, or you read a post on Instagram, or you see somebody else getting a little slack for breastfeeding. People are talking, but as long as you can tune them out and just do your thing, do your thing, mama, breastfeed that baby. 
My fifth point is to ensure that you're continuing to pump. I know that um, we we talk about pumping a lot in the earlier stages because your your milk can really come in really full, and then when your baby develops a more you know like a, a, a rhythm to their eating and your body becomes used to their body and your your milk is producing according to their needs, the pump is not necessarily a need at that point. However, to continue to, to breastfeed from six months and beyond, you do want to continue to pump. Allow your breast to pump to empty so that your your body knows to create more milk. Pump right through, pump and feed directly, pump and freeze, whatever your method is. And of course I have another video on how to store your breast milk and I'll link that right here for you as well. Go ahead and continue pumping. It's going to help you in the long run to produce as much as your baby needs and to continue to produce that breast milk according to the needs of your baby and when you need to feed them. A lot of moms are going back to work at this stage as well. So if you prefer your baby to have breast milk, pumping it so that someone else can feed your baby is a great idea. So my next point is that you might want to see a lactation consultant. Now this might seem like you know the kind of the ship has sailed in this regard. Most new moms see a lactation consultant in the very early stages or even before the baby is born. Your body has changed by now six months you are more engaged, you are more active, you are doing a lot more. If you've had a C-section like me, by this time, you're back on your feet pretty much, you know, doing it all. Your baby is also very different, very active, you know, climbing up, doing all kinds of things. If, you're, if they're like Adelaide, that baby is busy. So both you and baby are experiencing a lot of different changes, which you might be aware of some of those changes, but you might not be aware of all of those changes. So seeing a consultant might help to fill in the gaps on what you could be missing with your body and the, the way that you produce milk at this stage. Of course, when you are nursing a newborn baby, you can continue to nurse right up until they're a year or even beyond, and it might feel like pretty well routine. However, there might be things that you're not aware of and seeing a professional might help you to just fill in those gaps and get a little bit more extra knowledge as to what your body is doing, how you are supporting your baby with breast milk and just knowing everything that you need to know so that you can be more confident with feeding your baby in this way. The last tip, and this is something that I mentioned earlier on, I even did a short about this and um, I, I still didn't, do it, but I am considering it now again. And the seventh tip here is to just take a supplement. You might want to consult a physician, which I will be doing before I implement any kind of supplements, but a supplement might be beneficial just because again, touching back on my last point, your body might be making some changes at this stage and you might need a little bit of extra support to produce enough breast milk so that your baby can be well nourished. I know a lot of moms are introducing solid foods at this point, you might want to cut back a little bit on how much you're breastfeeding or you may be a little bit slow introducing solid foods to your baby like me. I took my time. I'm very slow to introduce new foods and to do the baby led weaning and all of that. So I rely heavily on my breast milk to be able to nourish her and make sure that she's healthy and well fed. A supplement might help in this regard. Again, don't rush out and go and purchase a supplement and take any old supplement. You wanna do your research and you wanna consult your physician before you introduce anything new so that you have the right information and that you are doing the right thing for yourself and for your baby. Those are my seven tips. I hope they were helpful because you know what? Breastfeeding is difficult, but it is doable. And I believe in you, mama. I believe that you can do it and I believe that you will be successful at it. Of course, in the early stages, it might be a little bit more easy. It might feel a little bit more natural but if you are choosing to breastfeed from six months and beyond, this video is especially helpful for you and I hope that it did exactly what it meant to do. But until next time, here are some really cool Couch Mom videos for you to enjoy and don't forget to join the club. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss an upload. Follow me on all your favorite social media accounts and don't forget to check out the merch. The links will be in the description right below that like button. And now it's time to get off the couch and into life.